Hi, everybody. All right, we're wrapping up the back of the controller. We had to shorten up those Ethernet uh, cables. They were long. Uh, here, let me take a picture and then show it to you. That looked pretty. All right. Now we are testing the controller, and then we are moving on. All right, before we move on, uh, let me welcome all the new subscribers. We now have over 1,500, which is trippy. If everyone sent me a dime, I could go to the movies by myself. All right, so we're moving on to the chapter of miscellaneous. So this is all of the sort of end pieces, right? Because it's we're, we're nearing the end, folks. And it's time to actually make this bird look nice. So we're starting off with the center flap tunnel. Plus, look, let's be honest. Let's talk about, you know, leaving yourself something easy to do. Because building a plane is very challenging. And you're going to buttress up against things that, you know, that uh, take out of your comfort zone. And sometimes what you need to do is bravely give up and retreat back to something that you know, that you know you can't screw up to kind of give yourself a little confidence booster. So if you're going to be doing this, file away a few, you know, things like this so that you can, you, things you, you don't have to have this done. I Technically, I don't even have to have this on to, to know if it even fits. I mean, I need to know if it fits, but, you know, when the, when the guy uh, comes to inspect the plane, when the DAR comes to inspect, uh, that's going to be off. So I could wait until the very end, until it's actually inspected to build it, if you wanted to. Just as an example. All right, so while you're watching me build that, let's go over some Q&A. Uh, talking, people have been talking about the uh, O2 sensors. Right, so thing about O2 sensors is that lead suffocates the sensor. When people say it kills the sensor, all it really does is that it suffocates the sensor so that it basically can't read any O2 at all. Uh, that's just what lead does. Lead salts come shooting out real hot, especially at the beginning of the engine when it fires up. You're throwing a lot of extra fuel to try to get it to go, and so you get a lot of unburned fuel, a lot of lead. Now, you can try to mitigate it in several ways. The easiest, of course, is just to use unleaded fuel. Which in California, if we're not careful, everyone might have to use. I mean, look, I, I'm all for it. For, let me back up. I'd love to have unleaded fuel. If we had unleaded at Oakland, uh, we would find a way that we'd have to use it. That is just so much better for everything. The environment, your plane. Screw the environment. It's better for the engine. <laughs> Environment's already screwed. I'm kidding. We're the ones that are screwed. Environment will be fine. Right, so in this plane, we will have an O2 sensor. Uh, it's heated. It'll be behind the number four cylinder, and it'll be turned on about a minute before the fu engine fires up so that it's nice and hot. Uh, if it's heated, that way at least, uh, when the lead comes, it can have a better chance of it at least either being like boiled off or deflected, as opposed to just having a place for it to... Uh, stick to and cool and then ruin the sensor so we'll see we'll see I mean it's you know with the sensor it allows you to have a closed loop system to sort of really tweak that injection because it'll drift right over time things drift all right enough of that so now we're on here to the seat covers uh, in the past you may have seen me try to manifest uh, manufacture these out of carbon fiber and while I got the shape down the problem is uh, the holes for the attached screws have to be pretty much perfect uh, or it loses its rigidity, right? Because it's a thin piece of metal and you think, God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break that. But once you have that screwed in place, it is, you can stand on it, right? You can, you can stand, I mean, I can stand on it. I'm, too, I'm 220 with clothing, I can stand on it. So, again, I bravely gave up <laughs> and sticking with the stock parts for now. Uh, doesn't mean we're not going to pursue it in the future, but i got to get this thing flying before the end of April. I don't have any time to mess with future technology. So, what you do with these, nothing special, because they're already basically the right shape. Just deburr, make sure the holes are final drilled. Uh, we are going to be adding nut plates, you can see there. So that's for around the control window, where the control stick comes through. There's going to be a nice boot, and it needs a place to secure the boot. 
All right, next video, more miscellaneous. So thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.